Ah, oh, turning it down. They didn't turn out the best. I haven't made them in a while. I tried to mash that one together to save it, but they smell really good. They smell amazing. These kind of failed a little. I haven't made these in so long. I used to always make like banana oat pancakes. I always top it with like fresh fruit. I always, always use banana and like fresh berries, but we didn't have any. So I improvised and we had some nectarines and frozen fruit. Okay, I've got this mouthful of pancake with a little bit of raspberry and peanut butter. Why haven't I had that in so long? That's stunning. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm fully shook. <laughs> Even this improvised fruit combo is bomb. I'm so shook. I'm shook. Baba. So I thought I would do a kind of a vlog today or just like a day in the life. It's a very random day and I also wanted to do some mental health 
and physical health update slash chat. So if you watched my recent video about like my health and how this year I'm just done with the cycle of falling into bad mindsets and losing weight and being unhealthy and stuff like that, you'll know the gist of my health lately. I've just decided this year it's important to me to be healthy and get a period back and all that jazz. I feel like I look pretty unhealthy and I have been the last week. I don't feel the best today, but it's so much better than it has been. I don't know what's been wrong with me, but I've had ridiculous amount of fatigue. Like I have had some days, I literally, all I could do was stay in bed and like it was dark in my head because I felt so bad about that, but I also felt so sad about why I felt that way because I didn't understand why. And then I cried so much because I was like, I don't understand. I'm trying to do the right thing by my body and eat enough and rest from training until I feel better. But I still feel like I literally can't keep myself awake. Like I went to the doctor and because I had blood tests a few weeks ago, you know when you go to doctors and they're just like literally hopeless? It was a hopeless doctor. He was like, oh, what do you think it is? And I was like, bro, I don't know. That's why I've come to see you and I've explained to you all my symptoms. Like, I don't know. And he was just like, okay. Like I did explain mental health as well as physical health and he just thought because I was so depressed and sad that that's why I felt fatigued and I was like um, I understand that but I don't think that's the reason why. I'm feeling really sad because I feel so fatigued like <clears throat> anyway so for the last week I haven't been at training and I have not done that since I started athletics when I was like 15. I've never had more than like four days, four rest days from like an illness or something I never and it's hard mentally like I feel bad like I love training but I also just feel like I don't know like it wasn't like oh, I wish I was there because I just don't feel it right now it was more just like I feel so shit about not being at training and I feel bad about it and I'm like stressed because I feel so negative but I literally just have to listen to my body and I was like well I just have to be better and I thought having a few days off and eating enough would make me feel so much better, would fix me. Um, but it didn't, so that's why I was feeling even more sad. But anyway, so in my other video, I did explain how I just need to be a healthy weight and get a period back. So I am working on that. But I felt much healthier and been in a worse physical state than this, so I don't really know what the fatigue is from. I don't know, I feel like I have some type of illness. The doctor was like, well, you already had blood tests for normal things, so he was going to get me to get a blood test for some random forest infection. Just like, I don't think I have a forest infection. Anyway, so yesterday oh, yeah. I was messaging my coach, just filling her in, and she said, hey, Amy, I want you to sort yourself out first, no more going backwards. And she said, don't return to training until you're 52 to 53 kilos. Being healthy is number one priority. Your body just can't handle what you're doing to it anymore. And I think that probably is the reason. My brother said this is just the universe's way of forcing you to rest like sometimes when you've just done too much the universe would just like force you to rest like you just your body needs it it was just the universe forcing me to back off <laughs> and my coach also said it's hard as you would be a good athlete a very good athlete if you were healthy and still fighting and that meant a lot to me that she really thought that because i really value her opinion so much that is one of the big reasons i've just decided i'm just it's better to just take time off get healthy and then start all over again because like I want to be good at my sport again and I want to be happy and healthy and just living my life properly again instead of in a bad negative mindset and yeah anyway I was also feeling really shit because I was just like thinking about how all my strength and muscle will be wasting and like being lost as when I'm like lying down and feeling shit but then like when I messaged like my friends, they were like, it doesn't matter. Like you literally just have to get healthy and then don't worry about that. Literally like whatever, like you can get build that back up, but you have to be healthy. At the moment, I'm just trying to be healthy again. And then I'll start again from wherever I am in terms of training and just everything. As hard as it is and mentally as hard as it can get when I have to like not go to training or eat, even though I have an exercise because like, old me would have been like panicking for eating and not having trained i was just like even though i don't feel good for doing this i know i need to do it and it's what i have to do to get better and be a healthy and happy gal again so today is just a chill day one of my friends is coming over i'm gonna put something on get the clothes on the back of my door i feel like everybody does this but the clothes on the back of my door are like clothes that aren't clean like from my cupboard basically 
they're pretty much clean. It's when I wear an outfit and then it's not dirty enough to put in the wash, so they just go in the back of my door. And honestly, sometimes they stay there for like a year. And honestly, sometimes clothes aren't dirty enough for the wash until I've worn them like a hundred million times. I'm going to wear these overalls that I got the other day and have been obsessed with. And under it, I'm going to wear just this white crop bralette. This is not going to work, but... <sighs> I was contacted by a brand called Ached Away on Instagram the other day, um, asking about sending me a massage gun. And I was so excited because I, I didn't follow this particular brand, but I follow a few different like massage gun places and oh my gosh, and I've always wanted to get one. I will put their Instagram and all their website details in the description box below, but I thought it would be fun to open it and try it now. So these massage guns are to help with recovery and enhance blood flow and circulation help with removing waste products like dispersing lactic acid and get the blood moving and it just helps with recovery stopping injuries releasing tight muscles all of that jazz just another recovery tool oh oh my gosh so it's in this cool little case just for reference it's like not that big i don't know oh my lord this is so cool. Stop. I can't believe this. It's like a full gun. I'm gonna take this to training when I'm back at training. That is so cool. Use that manual. Oh, there's like a whole, okay. One, two, three, four, five. There's five, five different types of heads that you can put on the top to get a different like I don't know the word. And they're all here in this case. So there's like a double, a two forked head that you can whack your muscles with. I think this is the standard one. Actually, maybe it's not the standard one. This one is. This is round head. Okay, so we have round head, power head, flat head, bullet head, and fork head. Oh. <laughs> It also comes with like a charger. Let's hope this is already charged so I can like actually use it right now. Okay, I'm gonna try the round head. There's an on and off button at the bottom. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so <laughs> the on and off switch is at the bottom. So I'm just gonna flick it to on. And then you press this and it starts doing its thing but then if you press it again it goes more powerful and more powerful just like a blender so let's give it a try oh stop it <laughs> ow ow oh I'm turning it down I felt that also my biceps are pretty tight because arms you know I do a lot of push-ups even though I've been resting I tried to do a session yesterday and I did my push-ups didn't do them the best though because I felt so bad, but yeah, that hurt. It's a good pain though, like a muscle releasing pain. Oh my gosh, shop, I'm so excited. I can't believe I have one of these. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Ached Away. This is actually so cool. Definitely check out their... Definitely check out their Instagram and website and... Put it on your wish list, save up for it, I don't know, because ah, it's so cool. Okay, let's try the, the muscles. This definitely needs higher power for legs. Let's go up to. Ooh, carvies. If anyone gets calf cramps, this type of thing is perfect. This is so good. This isn't even the highest one yet. Oh my gosh, stop, I'm in love. This is amazing. This is amazing. <sighs> so cool. On Wednesdays we have um, endurance, like lactic sessions at training. And I wish I was going so I could take this and everyone would be like, oh my God. But my coach doesn't want me to go till I'm healthy, which I'm very grateful for. I'm so blessed to have such like a lovely coach. I'm gonna try the forkhead one now. This one looks 
savage. Oh no, I like this. This is perfect. This is good for because it's pointier. It's good for like if you have like knots to like really get into the knot. Oh, ah, Glenn McGraw. Oh my lord, this is actually the coolest thing ever. Okay, if I didn't have this right now, I would definitely put this on my wish list. This is so cool. This is literally wild. Wild. I like this fork one better. It's like deeper. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. Massive props to Aked Away for this massage gun. It's the coolest thing ever. I am taking this to training. Oh, can you imagine? Like after like dying between sets of lactic, just whip this out and then you're sweet. You know what? I'm going to go and try it on my brother because he is over right now building our kitchen. Okay, this is my brother, Sammy. Hello. How are you going? Oh my gosh, it's so smoky outside again. Yeah, it's pretty smoky. It's those poor animals. I know. It's so sad. It's really heartbreaking. Some animals may never come back. Complete habitats destroyed and a lot of them are destroyed as well. Because we haven't been listening to the true custodians of this land. Agreed. Do you want to tell us a fun fact about you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a surfer. He's a surfer. <laughs> you can tell he's a hippie. I was just opening this massage gun that I got sent. So I thought I'd come and try it out on you. Jeez. Yeah, I know, how oh, cool is man. it? Massage. Okay, I'm gonna... Fun fact, I love massage. Yeah, tattoo. Right now, that, right there. Okay. Oh, Ooh, is it hurting or is it like a good pain? It's kind of like a good, weird pain. This tattoo is actually really, really, really cool. Yeah. What the heck? I've never seen this. When did you get this? Oh, uh, it's fairly new. What are your thoughts on it? That was good. I was quite comfortable for you to continue doing that. Okay. I was like, get about my everyday life. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rio. She doesn't like it. I'm finally lighting my candle, so my room smells beautiful for when Kiara comes. Also, this sunglasses stand that I ordered off eBay just arrived. It was like $9, and you just put it together by literally just putting everything into this, all these wooden pieces into this block. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, I'm pretty nice, not gonna lie. Kiara just came back from getting some lunch down the road at the cafe. So we just got back and now we are doing something really exciting. We're booking flights because we're going to Japan together. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe we just booked Japan. Oh, I just got an email. Oh, I'm so excited. So it's a little bit later now in the Arvo and just had a nice chill day. Usually because it's a Wednesday, I would have training. But my coach doesn't want me to go until... I'm a better weight and feeling healthier and I have fully recovered um, from being unwell. She said don't come back to your at least 52 kilos. So I'm not going to training this Arvo. Also it's the first day in a few days where I haven't felt like collapsing. So I'm just going to head to the gym and I'm not doing my normal strength session. Um, that's on my program. I'm just going to kind of listen to my body and do what I feel like doing and just move my body in some way that's doesn't feel yeah <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna kind of move around just because I felt really heavy and not great just being dead like sick and lying for a few days so yeah I'm gonna go do that now In the back seat, what's left of me
so I just finished up at the gym. It was so random. I've never just like had no plan. Like even if I've made my own session up, I have it written out. I just YOLO'd it and just went and did what I felt like doing. Just did some random sets of random exercises. So that was really random. I still don't feel like fully normal, but I'm starting to feel so much better than the last few days. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I'm hoping that this year, well, my aim is to upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm going to try my best to do that. But I know sometimes life gets really busy and obviously I'm not like a YouTuber. Like I'm not, that's not my job, but I really love doing it. So I'm going to try my best to do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.